Hello and welcome to That Pipe Woman. I'm Amy Mack. You're not. <clears throat> Today I am smoking some <clears throat> haunted bookshop in this lovely Morgan Bones stubby ants. And this pipe will feature in something I'm going to talk about a little later. But first, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, baseball, books, and pipes in today's uh, bonus video. So welcome to the insanity. <laughs> so first, as you know, oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh no, I did, I did tell you what I was smoking. I clearly need some more of my espresso. I'm uh, drinking a little, uh, this is a, this is an espresso. I drink espresso and this is in vivo longo. <laughs> Worst Italian accent ever, right? <clears throat> anyway, as you know, Jody and I, uh, went to St. Louis last weekend to catch a Cubs and Cardinals game. And, uh, it was quite eventful, and uh, here's why. Is that live? Yeah, that was not live, no. Okay. I just now hit record. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm an idiot. I'll try it again. All right, so uh, as you can see, we uh, our trip to the Cubs game got cut a little short because uh, we're driving into quite the thunderstorm. But at least we're not sitting in the 400 level in a thunderstorm. Right, because we were in the 400 level of Bush Stadium. So I am very glad to be in my little Kia headed back to the uh, the, ho the home tell. Good times. So as you may have guessed, the, the uh, game got delayed. Um, and we didn't get to see the end of it. And sadly, my beloved Cubbies lost. Um... So, in answer to your question, Lori B., I am a Royals fan first, but the Cubbies are near and dear to my heart. Um, so, there you go. Um, I'll talk more about that on the next Mirrored Monday. Uh, anyway, we did manage to have a good time. We got up there. We hung out. We went to the ball game. Uh, it was crazy because um, the St. Louis Blues are in the uh, Stanley Cup, as you may know. And uh, game three uh, of that contest was happening, so uh, it was a little bit wild downtown. Weather notwithstanding. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the Blues lost that game, but I think they have won again, so they are still in it to win it. Um, while I am not a St. Louis Cardinals fan, you know, I am going to pull for the Blues uh, even though the Capitals, the Washington Capitals, are my favorite hockey team. But they won the Stanley Cup last year, so, you know, somebody else's turn. <laughs> Anywho, I wanted to talk about uh, <clears throat> another hobby of mine. And that is uh, what I like to do when I'm smoking my pipe often is uh, read a good book. So I decided today I would uh, share some books that I'm reading with you, and they are all, strangely enough, about West by God, Virginia. <laughs> now, I have no ties to West Virginia, but um, I, uh, I'm a big fan of true crime, and there is a YouTube channel I, uh, I follow, uh, Mysterious WV, and I will uh, drop a link uh, to Sean's channel down in the uh, comment set, or down, in the, down below. Uh, he's a pipe smoker, um, but he does some really incredible videos, um, about unsolved crime and they're, they're worth your time. Um, they're, they're a great, uh, they're a great pastime. I enjoy his videos quite a bit. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll drop a link down below so you can check him out give him a subscribe if you are so inclined. But anyway, let's get back to talking about the books. So, um, Sean did a video uh, on a murder case from the 1930s, uh, wherein a flapper was killed, um, and one man went to jail for it, but it was pretty obvious um, that he was not the guilty party. Um, 
So let me see if I can like compress this down and give you the bare bones of what happened. So this gal was married to a uh, police officer and she and her husband were living uh, in the upstairs apartment um, of the home of the banker that she worked for. And this lady's name is Mamie Thurman. And uh, Mamie was also known as the Vixen of Stratford Street. Um, so as you might guess, <laughs> Mamie wasn't exactly being faithful to her husband. In any event, she, uh, she was sleeping with her boss and apparently some other uh, fairly um, influential men in the town. And she had a list of these men and um, she turned up dead. And the guy who, uh, the guy who got charged and uh, eventually convicted of the crime was the African-American uh, errand boy of the rich banker. So I don't want to spoil any more of the story for you because uh, I really, if you're really interested in it, you should go check out Sean's, cha Sean's channel and watch the video. And then I'm going to recommend these two books to you. Uh, well, I'm going to recommend one and kind of poo-poo the other, sad to say. Anyway, it's a very fascinating story, um, and it speaks to a period of time in our history as a country um, that I find very, very interesting. So the first book uh, is by F. Keith Davis, and the name of the book is The Secret Life and Brutal Death of Mamie Thurman. Um, F. Keith, Keith Davis is a reporter. Uh, this is a well-researched book. Um, and it goes into a lot of detail, and I found it quite quite interesting. It's a little dry, uh, but if you're interested in this sort of thing, it, it's 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 a it's a good book. Now the other book, The Ghost of Twenty Two Mountain by George Morrison. George Morrison is Mamie Thurman's uh, half brother. Uh, he's since passed away, and so Morrison wrote this book as kind of uh, fact-based fiction, if you will. And I think it's because there were things he wanted to say that he couldn't have said had he claimed this was a uh, work of nonfiction. Um, so it's obvious that, that old George has some theories about what happened to his sister, and he recounts them all in the book. And on that instance... The, the book is fairly interesting, his theories. What I didn't like about the book uh, was George has some rather outdated uh, ideas about women and so forth and so on, and that made it kind of a bitter pill to swallow. Now, I will say in George's meager defense, this book was written in the 1980s, so, you know, and he was an older guy, so there you go. I'm not excusing his misogyny, but I can certainly understand why he says some of the things he, he does. Now, I said I was going to poo-poo the book, and now I'm kind of retracting on that. There are parts of this book that are quite interesting. Uh, again, if you're into true crime, even though this is kind of a fictional account, um, there, there, there are some interesting tidbits in this book. But if you're going to read it, I highly recommend you uh, read F. Keith Davis's book first, which is more of a true account, or is a true account. Um, and also uh, start the whole thing up. If you're really interested in this, if you're like, Amy, I'm really, I'm, you know, you're a crazy person, but I'm going to read these things anyway. I, I still would recommend you watch uh, Sean's uh, feature on this story first because it, uh, it gives you uh, a good look into this whole story. Um, and there's a ghost involved, so that's fun. Um, apparently, Mamie's ghost ha uh, haunts uh, the area where she was killed. So anyway... There's some books you might be interested in. Now, the last book I want to talk about is one I'm reading on e-reader. Again, about West Virginia. And it is about the Hatfields and McCoys. Now, in addition to true crime, I'm also very interested in history, specifically um, pre-Civil War and Civil War history. Um, I grew up in Virginia, so I was, uh, was born in Missouri, grew up in Virginia, so I was surrounded by... Um, 
my monuments and history and it was a really cool place to grow up and and learn about some of the, these things um, so I've always had something of an interest of it and there's also quite a bit of Civil War history here in the state of Missouri where I live now and where I'm actually from um, so this book if I can get my Kindle to open it's called the Hatfield and McCoy feud after Ke Kevin Costner by Tom E. Dotson. I don't know if you can see this. I'll pull it up. Maybe it'll focus and you can see it. So, in 2012, the History Channel put out a television show about the Hatfields and McCoys starring Kevin Costner and a whole bunch of other notable Hollywood folk. And, uh... I think about that time, a lot of us started smoking Ant's Pipes because Devil Ant's Hatfield uh, smoked an, a pipe that had this little jutting thing and hence it became known as the Ant's Pipe. So, incidentally, um, it is not my favorite pipe shape, but it is probably my second or third favorite pipe shape, uh, especially in a little stubby pipe like this. I absolutely love this pipe. Um, it's... Uh, light, it's comfortable, it sits well in my mouth, um, fits well in my hand, it's just comfortable, and it, I think I showed you earlier, this thing is coloring in absolutely beautifully. Uh, the Morgan Bones pipes, for those of you who don't know, um, only come with a little bit of, uh, car it's just straight briar and carnauba wax, so you color it in on your own. Um, I've been wanting to, uh, to get one of the Savinelli's like this too, to do the same thing, because it's really fun to watch them color in, um, and apparently this month is, you know, Amy's color and pipe month. Anywho, I digest <laughs> or digress. Um, so, Dotson is uh, descended from both Hatfields and McCoys, and he's written this book um, about the feud uh, to dispel a lot of the misinformation that's out there, specifically, apparently, the Kevin Costner movie, or not movie, television show, is full of hokum, <laughs> but it was a good show. I mean, you know, I enjoyed it. I, I'm sure a lot of you did too. It was a very, a very well done show. However, apparently it's a little light on facts. Uh, and Dotson uh, endeavors to fix all of that and, and tell us the true story of what was happening with, uh, with the Hatfields and McCoys and how actually the feud was less about the Hatfields and McCoys and more about um, greedy land, uh, land grabbers and, um, and economic situations. Uh, so it is a fascinating read. It is, it can be tough to slog through at times. Um, I'm not quite finished with it, but I'm getting close. I'm about 60% of the way through the book. Um, but I recommend it if you're interested in that, in that, uh, in that particular subject and that, uh, period of our history. It's, uh, it's very interesting, um, in that respect. Uh, but uh, he clearly has an axe to grind <laughs> with a couple of people who claim to be historians and uh, <clears throat> and the people who wrote the movie, the the television series. Um, and it's that part kind of amuses me because he really he, his ash is really burnt <laughs> over some of the things that have been said about his family. I understand that though. If somebody had written a bunch of stuff about my family that wasn't true, I'd probably be uh, my ash would probably be burnt too. So anyway, I have rambled on, on and on, as I want to do, uh, but I got to talk to you guys about two of my favorite things, well, three of my favorite things in the world, pipes, baseball, and books. So, uh, as always, if you have a question for me, uh, leave it down in the comments below with the hashtag AskThatWoman. I will be happy to answer those uh, on the next Mared Monday, which is coming up next Monday, as it were. <laughs> anyway... Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me this long. Uh, as always, keep them lit, but don't let them burn your ash. Do take care.